Hello, this is Ness Tilson here. Um, in this short video, I'd like to show you how to use polyboard to give different shapes to the pieces of a bit of furniture. As the name suggests, polyboard works with boards or panelling material, panels. Um, but e these panels can either be simple rectangular shapes to build a bit of rectangular type of furniture, but each panel can also be any shape. You can cut out the shape of the panel or we can do um, cut out the inside of the panel to give it a shape a specific shape and this specific shape can be anything that you want um, here is a project which has been made with polyboard it's been made with um, laminated solid wood materials and each uh, panel has been given a specific shape to make a bed and some tables uh, the, the table is rectangular but the bed here has particular shaping around the edges of the boarding and I'm going to show you how to do that in polyboard. Um, so let's go over to the project now and uh, let's start a bit of furniture and I'll show you how to do that. Right here we are in polyboard and I've opened a new cabinet and for this demonstration as we just want to show how to shape uh, each individual board. Let's make a simple cabinet and let's take away everything we don't really want. The like top, get rid of the bottom, let's go to the back and let's get to the right side so we just have one board and we can see exactly how we, what we're working on. So here we have the board. The cabinet is only made of one board. So we look in the textured view and let's have a look at the cabinet how we're going to do it. Right, now this particular board, if I select the board we get the properties of the board um, we have its name, etc. And in its properties we have the structure. In the, in the cutting list section we have structure and we can edit the structure, what we call structure of the board. Now the board's structure, um, it, it ha in the structure menu, has several options. We have uh, edges tooling. Edges tooling is the possibility to give a shape to the outside edges of the board. Angles tooling is the possibility to give a shape to the corners each corner of the board. Inner tooling is the possibility to cut out a shape in the board. Um, surface split is the possibility to say that the board is not just one piece but that it is split into several parts. Thickness split is the possibility to say that the board is not just one board but is in fact uh, uh, layers of several different boards. And assembly details is the possibility to say that the board is actually made up of a frame and a panel inside. Um, in this particular video let's just look at two things that are, I'd like to show you which is which are two things we use very often if you want to make a you know in, sort of more sort of uh, individualized furniture shapes. That will just look at the two things which are the, the edges tooling which is the possibility to shape the board on the outside and inner tooling which is the possibility to create a cutout in the board. These are things which you're going to use very often. So let's have a look at how we can change the shape of the edges of the board. Let's take the menu edges tooling. In edges tooling we can select as top one of the edges, top, back, bottom or front and we can give it a shape. Let's say for instance for the front that we want to add a tool, tooling or a shape to the front. If I click on the tooling um, the box we have the tooling menu which which uh, which um, appears and we have uh, the possibility of here defining whether we want an edging material to, uh, to apply to this edge yes or no let's say no for the time being let's say that the actual board is a laminated solid wood board and then we have the possibility of adding a shape uh, and a shape can be a simple circle can be uh, any shape that you've drawn in a DXF file it's just a polyline that comes out of a CAD software. Any CAD software will be able to draw you a polyline that you will be able to export as a DXF file and you can apply it to the board. Um, let's take for instance something which is um, have a curved end. Let's, let's try something that looks not too too bad. <laughs> let's try a double curve, double curve, something like that. We can see we've applied a double curve to the edge of the board um, this double curve can be either we can either give a specific distance 
a specific width to the machining. So for instance, if we say that the width is actually, um, say, only 150 millimeters wide, it will the, we can reproportion the actual shape according to the width that we want. This, this uh, particular shape can be um, inverted, so we can turn it upside down, and it can turn around. So we can twist it around and move it, flip it from side to side, from back to from top to bottom as we want. Um, and it can be on the. We can either be calculated on the as an inner, um, you know, axed on the boarding, or it can be uh, on the. Let's put it on the outside of the boarding. Here we have the the shape is actually inside the total um, area of the board. Or we can say that it goes outside according to the um, axis of the shape. And let's have a click on OK. We can see that the board has actually been shaped here, if we look in 3D. And we can see the 3D shape has been applied to the board. And this can be done, of course, in on, on all, if I take edges tooling of the top, and we add a curve, the board is now changing shape. Let's take an edges tooling on the back. Take, a sh take another shape on the back. And we can take an edges tooling on the bottom too. Let's take an edges tooling on the bottom of the board. And let's apply, apply a circle. Now, the, the actual boarding, the board has got a shape which is completely not at all rectangular. And each particular shape has been is, is just a DXF file that I've drawn in a CAD software. The other possibility is to take this board, and if we take edit and we do um, an inner tooling, this gives the possibility of cutting out a shape in the board. So if I say, for instance, let's add an inner tooling, we have the same sort of menu that applies and different shapes that we can cut out, which are also just closed polylines. We can have ellipses. Here we have an ellipse. Let's put a square. These are just standard shapes, heart shape. They're just polylines that have been drawn in AutoCAD and imported into Polyboard. So let's say um, that we're going to add something which is very simple. Let's say um, we will add um, just a simple ellipse. We will give the height of the ellipse here. Each shape that we import is parametric, so that means that Polyboard takes the actual shape you've drawn, but you can give the different sizes of the shape in Polyboard. It will be Polyboard will, be able, will enable you to manipulate the shape in, it, in its proportions. So here we have the horizontal axis. Let's say the horizontal axis for this will be, for instance, 220 millimeters. And the vertical axis, let's give a vertical axis of something a bit bigger, 350 millimeters. We have the possibility of twisting it. We can tw push it at 20 degrees. And we have the possibility of giving its position on the board. We can define the position the, by default, the position of the cutout is actually in the center of the board, but we can also define its position relative to the corners or relative to the middle of one edge of the board. Let's leave it in the center for the time being. And let's say that um, we let's let's say that it's uh, that, that it's actually cut. Let's move it up a bit. Let's put it up. Say let's put it up from the center, 50 millimeters. Polyboard auto automatically puts it up higher. And we have the possibility <coughs> of, um, let's have a look, see what it does. We can have the possibility here of saying whether it goes through, uh, go, it actually goes through the board or it just has a specific depth, a recess. Let's cut it through and let's see what the board looks like. And here we have the board. As you see, the board can get very complicated as we add different inner tooling to it. Let's add another inner tooling to this particular board. And this time, let's say it is actually a circle. 
the diameter of the circle, let's say the diameter of the circle being only 50 millimeters, and that it is actually a machining machining for some you know, cabling to go through. Let's go down 50 millimeters, and this particular circle, let's put it a bit bigger, just so we can see it better, 100 millimeters. And let's say that the the reference of this particular circle is the center, but it's, we don't want it at the center. Let's say we want it the lower right hand corner of the circle, and that the lower right hand corner of the circle relative to the panel is also the lower right hand corner of the panel here, and that the position let's give it a Pacific position of um, let's say it's a Pacific 150 by 150. And in fact, sorry, it'll be 150 and that'll be a minus 150. Let's put the circle here. Uh, a minus 150 from the bottom from the from the bottom right hand corner and 150 up into the board, we we're going to machine a circle. And here we have the circle circle is machined. So we can see that the just by changing different shapes of the edging and changing the inner and, and doing inner cutouts, the actual boards in, in polyboard can actually have practically any shape you want and this makes it a really fantastic tool for doing um, custom design um, very very simply, very very fast and it all remains parametric, all remains 100% parametric so that if we click outside the furniture we change the height of the furniture and we say that the furniture is now uh, one meter fifty high. The board will be re-dimensioned, maintaining the shape, and re-dimensioned as we go. And of course, as usual, we have all the manufacturing um, tool paths, DXF output, cutting lists, etc., for the whole project. Right, thank you very much for listening, and I hope this has been interesting and has showed you a little bit. Just we just just scratch the surface of one of the aspects of the versatility of this polyboard software for making custom shaped furniture. Thank you very much for looking.